Okay, hi, and welcome back to another helping of English, um, courtesy of My English School. I am Kirsty, and tonight uh, we're going to be looking at focus activity, one of our focus activities, fads and trends. So I hope you, I hope you guys are excited um to look at another another activity online with us doesn't matter if you find it too difficult just comment in the comments box let me know who you are where you're from and i will try to answer as many questions as possible so today we're looking at fads and trends in this focus activity discussing fads and trends funnily enough uh, looking at vocabulary and comparatives. So there's a rather jolly man playing the, um, the squeeze box. Um, and he looks as though he's in a coffee shop. So he's like the barista. He's like a barista with a squeeze box. Interesting. I wonder. He looks a very jolly fellow indeed. Um, I, wonder, I wonder what kind of bar that is. And where that is, maybe Ireland, who knows? Okay, stuck in the past. Uh, do you think the people in the music video are in style? Why or why not? Okay, there's a music video that we might have to watch, but I'm not sure how well it will work on YouTube. Um, Okay, what about in the picture? Do you think the people in the picture are in style? Why or why not? Would they fit uh, in with uh, their style today? Um, what would they need to change? So would they be fashionable nowadays? Why or why not? Um, do you think their fashion could come back into style? Why or why not? Um, and finally, how have women's and men's style changed since since this picture? Let's just look at the picture, guys. Don't worry about the video. Okay, so in the picture, what what do you think? What do you think this is? I mean, I personally think it's the seventies. Um, the seventies, uh, judging by the jumpers and the hair and the moustache that that guy is, is, is sporting. Fantastic moustache. Um, let me know if you have a moustache. Do you like 70s style, the 70s? Uh, okay, I'm just gonna put my own question in the box for people. What um, do you like about the 70s? What do you like about the 70s? Okay, so I, I don't think the questions are really good for, 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 uh, for the video. We can't watch the video, sadly, but um, let's think about the picture. So it's the 70s, I think. What do you think about the 70s? Do you think the 70s is still stylish or is it out of date? Outdated or out of date? Outdated, out of date. Okay. Um, whoever is watching, I would like you to make yourself known. Tell me who you are, because I'm nosy. I want to know who's watching me. Who are you? Tell me where you're from and something about yourself. Okay. I like the 70s. I think the 70s is really cool. Sometimes I wish we still had 70s style. Um, I really like, um, uh, well, aside from the fact that I like brown and orange together in furniture and um, 
on wallpaper tiles. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Um, what about baths? Baths that were avocado color. Green, green baths. What do you think about the 70s? Um, the furniture, okay, is one thing. The dress, the flares, the flare trousers, the hair. So we've got hair, trousers, hair. The lo I'm thinking long hair, long hair, um, flare. Their trousers, fashion, music, mm, what else? Long hair, their trousers, fashion, music, uh, what else? Shoes, oh my goodness, the shoes from the 70s. Also, ideas, the whole um, vibe, vibe and atmosphere of the 70s. Dance. Well, the 70s was um, like a whole different, whole different era, whole different, different vibe comp compared to the 60s, obviously, and the 50s. So the 50s, think about it, it's post-war era, people still quite mm, stuck in the past, kind of recovering, of course, in the 60s, um, well, so in the 50s there was the baby boom, so lots of babies were born after the war. In the 60s, of course, um, in England we call, or in the UK we call it the swing, swinging 60s, because um, there was a lot of sort of sexual liberation, women felt a bit more liberated. People, like women, were wearing hot, um, like mini skirts and stuff like that. Uh, also, you've got the civil rights movement in the 60s, um, which changes things a lot in, in, in America, obviously, but e equally um, around the world, you've got lots of kind of civil rights movements occurring all over the world for various reasons. Of course, that changes people's mentalities, it changes people's dress, how they present themselves, okay, what, what they want. Um, and then we had, of course, the 70s, which we were talking about. Okay, so 70s, you've got lots of people think of hippies, <laughs> hippies, hippie style. Uh, the Bee Gees, the Bee Gees. Um, so a lot of the best music in the 70s. I think Earth, Wind and Fire, that kind of thing. Um, what kind of music do you like from the past? Do you like music from the 60s, the 70s? Or was it really only until the 80s that things started to really kick off? Music in the 80s is pretty good as well. Okay. So let me know what you think. Um, I think I think the 70s fashion does actually come into style in women's fashion quite a lot. Um, there are lots of items that kind of reappear um, quite regularly in fashion that that are from from eras such as the 50s, 60s, um, 70s, and 80s, and also 90s fashion as well. But the 90s fashion wasn't especially cute it was very kind of it was very tomboyish it was um you think of like spice girls and 
and boy bands and the dress wasn't terribly cute. You just think of Spice Girls, you, you had Mel C and Mel B dressed in kind of like cargo pants um, and crop tops. And then you had like Jerry Spice and Baby Spice and like mini, mini dresses. So none, none of, and, and also Victoria Beckham, but none, none of, um, none of the Spice Girls when they were kind of at their peak of success, you know, in the 90s, I, none of them really, yeah, and it didn't, it didn't scream stylish to me when you, th when you think about how um, you know Fleetwood Mac uh, looked in the seventies? You know there was more there was more of a sense of style in in the previous years. I think in the nineties the fashion was pretty pretty awful, to say the least. What what year did you like for fashion? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next slide. Okay, being hip. So we've got some some expressions here in English, and I want you to match them with the definitions on the right. So, what what is the difference between a fad and a trend, in your opinion? So you need to match the phrases, and you need to tell me what the difference is between a fad and a trend. So I'll give you some time to tell me the answers in the comments section. If you don't comment, I don't know you're there. Come on, guys. So, outdated. What does outdated mean? Outdated to catch on, to fit in, to come back in style, uh, an on trend. So, to come back in, yeah, I think they're two separate things. Okay, what does it mean? What do all of these things mean? Right. Um, 
going to go outdated, not modern or current. To catch on, uh, to catch on is to become popular. Okay, so you could say um, the iPhone really caught on; it became really popular. To fit in is to be socially accepted by others. Okay, so when I was when I was at school, I wanted to fit in. It was really really important to fit in at school, but sometimes it's not always possible. And also, it's uh, for lots of people, it's a relief to leave school because you can become your own person. Um, okay, to come back, to come back. Mm, put my glasses on, to come back. I wonder, gosh, you're all very quiet tonight. To come back, the return of something from the past that becomes popular again. In style, it means popular or fashionable. On trend is something that is very fashionable at the moment. So at the moment, it's on trend to... Um, Gosh, that's a really interesting one. At the moment, it's on trend to have fashionable pajamas because you have to stay at home during the quarantine. So you can um, you can wow all the people in your house by wearing beautiful pajamas because that's about all you can wear at the moment. No, I'm joking. It depends if you're if you're on smart working or not. Uh, on trend, uh, you're maybe changing out of your winter slippers into your summer slippers. Although today in Rome, uh, I would rather have my warm, cozy slippers again because it's very cold and miserable. Okay, uh, what is the difference between a fad and a trend? A fad is something that's like a very short-lived um, thing. Trend, it might be slightly longer, longer stylish thing, okay. Okay, in vogue, what on earth is going on in this photo? So this is like a catwalk. Um, I'm not sure what it's for, but... Yeah, I, I don't know what this is for, but it's like a catwalk show. Um, and yeah, people are having a great time. Um, do you think they're fashionable? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like the socks or the tights on any of them. Um, nothing seems to be coordinating. Um, hey, let's have a look. Hey, Federico, nice to see you. Okay, don't worry, it's okay. If you're having your dinner or if you were doing something else, it's okay. Um, um, we're just looking at, uh, well, it's basically just you and I who are looking <laughs> at, at the questions on this slide. So what would you say is on trend at the moment? Um, did it catch on fast? or did it slowly become popular? Has there been something that has, oh, let me see. Has there been something that has come back into style recently? How did it become popular again? Um, if you had a friend whose style was outdated, would you tell them? If they asked you if they were in style, what would you say? And what is an example of a trend or fad that you participated in from the past? Are there any trends you hope never come back? Gosh, lots of questions. So, um, Fabio, uh, sorry, Federico, we're just, um, we're just examining all these, uh, all these ideas about what is, what is fashion, what is trendy. 
you think the moustache really do you want do you want a moustache do you think that's what women want <laughs> or do you or do you grow the moustache for the guys is this so that you can compare moustaches in 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 the gym like kind of hulk hogan style a hulk hogan moustache my god No, I um, I like some men look really good with a beard, um, but you have to consider how it sits on somebody's face. Like some guys just don't have a naturally good beard face. Um, it just depends. I think some on some guys it can really uh some people facial hair can make them look really really old and on other people it can look good no no do you just do your own thing do you just uh i don't really follow fashion myself either i just do i do my own thing because i know some things like if we're talking about clothes i think some things suit suit me as a person others other things don't it's like you know I think for example I wear a lot of blue converse yeah I think I agree with you converse is it's iconic I think the Chuck Taylors are like iconic kind of basketball it almost represents an era and like a time in in you know in the past I think converse yeah i agree with you i did a workout this morning um that it was really cool it was like a hip hop like um it was like an old school hip hop style dance routine i'd never done anything like that before in my life and i looked like an idiot in my bedroom but it, it, the music was something about the music of old school hip hop that just it transports you to a place like in the States, you can imagine like doing stuff like that and you're like a basketball court and you've got like Converse and basketballs and all this kind of, you know, you've got guys doing hip hop dancing. It's, it's cool. Um, I like it. Um, yeah, I like to do things that, um, so for example, like if I buy something to wear, I buy it because I like the color or I buy it because I know it look, it, it's something I'm going to wear a lot. I like it. Um, but so and it depends how it makes you feel. But like I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy um, tops that showed a lot of my flesh. To be honest, like there's some some girls who wander around Rome and they're dressed as if like they don't care. Um, and that's not really that's not really a trend that I would necessarily follow but like then again I'm not 21 anymore I'm like 31 so it's um, it's, it's difficult to to follow the crowd all the time and also it just makes you look boring it makes you look like a sheep for god's sake it, you just who wants to look like a sheep um, okay um, has there been something that has come back into style recently? Uh, yeah, challenge on Instagram. I hate Instagram. I'm just going to put that out there. I absolutely hate Instagram. I just, I actually don't even, I'm not even sure I like Facebook anymore. I, I just, I'm just over it. If it wasn't a way to um, like keep in touch with family who are overseas or to keep in touch with particular friends, I wouldn't use it. I, I, I can't remember the last time I checked my Instagram. It's probably at the start of the quarantine, to be honest. Like I, I just, I'm over it. I just can't see the appeal. And and also the people who are constantly posting stuff on, on Instagram, I'm just like, 
and I know for a fact that nobody really cares what it is I do. Like I can post a picture of myself um, and it's like, okay, I'll get maybe how many likes? Nine likes, for example. Okay, sometimes more, sometimes less. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. I don't have loads of people on my Instagram, but let's say every time I post a picture, nine people like my photograph. Does that really enrich my life? No. Does it mean anything? No. It's just, uh, I'm just over it. And I hope other people will be over it soon as well, because um, especially during, during the quarantine as well, you just think, if you needed something like social media to make your life seem interesting, now you have no content. You have no content to put on Instagram. What are you going to do? Post pictures of yourself in your pajamas? Like, there's nothing. There's nothing for you on Instagram, really. Just pictures of other people's lives. So I prefer books. I don't know how you feel, Federico, but I, I prefer books. Um, uh, number three. If you had a friend whose style was outdated, would you tell them? So if your friend looked looked bad, had bad uh, bad hair, bad dress sense, would you tell them or would you just say, look, do you, you do you, man, I don't care. If you want to wear big trousers, go and wear big trousers. If you want to have pink hair, have pink hair, I don't care. Are you honest in that, in that sense? Because I honestly don't, I don't, I personally would not say to friends, I don't like that on you or I think you look stupid like that because people are allowed to express themselves, wear what they want, do what they want. I wouldn't, I might say to somebody, like if someone looks particularly good, I'll say you look really nice like that. I'm more likely to compliment them rather than say you look, you look like a bag lady. Yeah, exactly. I'm the same, Federico. I'm just like, oh. I mean, if someone's got like a rip in an obvious place in their trousers, then I might say, do you know you've ripped your trousers? But like, I'm not going to say, I don't think that looks good on you. It doesn't, doesn't bother me, really. Also, it's better to have clean clothes than dirty clothes. So provided that they look clean, they look as though they, you know, washed their clothes, had a shower, you know, I probably won't say anything. Uh, okay, number four then. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, so, can you name a trend or a fad that you participated in in the past? And are there any trends you hope never come back? A trend I remember is when they had um, Tamagotchis. Do you remember years and years ago, um, I don't know if this was a thing in Italy, but in the UK we had um, Tamagotchis, um, it might have just been in Scotland, I don't know, um, the little kind of game that came over from, I think it was maybe China or something like that, China or Japan, and uh, everyone was going crazy playing little games. It was this was before everyone had mobile phones. It was like a it was like instead of like a, a, a PlayStation or like a Game Boy, people had um, people had Tamagotchis. Um, uh, but yeah, I and then I remember they got banned at school. This was at primary school, so we had yo-yos like the thing like the circular thing with the string we had yo-yos and we had tamagotchis at school um uh, that's the only tra uh, trend i really kind of got into but, but I, I was little I, I, you know um yeah. 
yeah, that was weird. What, what was that all about? Yeah, so like people just were incapable of pulling their trousers up. So you had to see their pants. You had to see their underwear. Mind you, I worked with a guy like two years ago who still was rocking that trend. He just, he never grew out of it. He just thought, I'm going to make sure that my trousers start under my my bottom. I think he bought his trousers like that. So I don't need to worry. I'm just going to have them hanging um, below my underwear. I'm a weirdo. Um, sides from anything else, it, it makes you cold. That's how you get a cold. That's how you get the flu. It's, um, you need to and also it's not particularly flattering because I think some girls I remember when I was at school some girls used to like not care about their trousers hanging hanging down past and I uh, thought that was weird as well I don't know it's just a question of respect I think respect for yourself and respect for everyone round about you who's got to look at that oh. anyway. Yeah, uh, one one trend I hope never comes back. Uh, interesting. Um, mm, when everyone had to straighten their hair. Do you remember when everyone had to straighten their hair? Like they had their hair straighteners. Everyone was straightening their hair. Um, that was something that was I thought it was a shame because lots of people like destroyed their hair because they ironed, they used irons on their hair so much that they actually destroyed their hair and uh, it didn't look good. So there was like a girl, there were like girls at school who had all like lovely long hair, you know, and then they ended up with hair up to here because it all like they woke up and the hair just snapped off people were like addicted to straightening their hair it was weird mm. another thing um yeah even the men yeah there were guys who were like straightening their fringe and like uh, i don't know about you but i would have thought that if you were an italian guy with really really curly hair like thick kind of curly hair that would have been a nightmare every morning like straightening your hair because there were guys at, sc at my school who had curly hair and um, that was the thing um, and there was another another uh, trend where uh, when I was at school this is in Scotland I hope this never happened in Italy but girls would wear foundation like makeup that was orange so they'd have like an orange makeup line all the way around their face so their face was orange but then then what they would do is they would buy a lighter colored um kind of cream and they put it on their lips so it looked lighter so it had this appearance of them being like tanned but they had like white lips and i thought it was weird and then sometimes they would put like gloss or something over their lips so they would be orange with like this kind of glossy, they look dreadful, absolutely horrendous. And also fake tan. I know lots of people wear fake tan and some of my friends wear fake tan. I think it's dreadful. I really don't like fake tan. Um, I just think people should be comfortable with the skin colour they are. I'm I'm very, very, very pale. And like I just I just think you need to just No, I'm glad to hear it. You've never seen that in Italy. To be fair, to be fair, in the summer I think lots of people um get sun tans and they don't need to paint their face orange. <coughs> Yes, anyway, um, but I'm not a fake tan person. I don't know if you know anyone who wears fake tan, but I, I personally don't like it. I'm happy to be white. Um, and I say that in the, in the nicest possible way. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so... Comparing notes. So 
we're going to look at comparatives now. So uh, the sentence, cars today are, are far safer um, than, uh, than when they were first introduced. So far plus more comparative, okay? Next one. So I want you to read the, uh, the sentence, the text that's appearing on the right hand side of the slide and then tell me if it's a large difference or a small difference, okay? So musical instruments haven't changed much over the years while they are slightly less bulky. The construction of the instruments is basically the same. So do you think it's a small difference or a large difference? It's the underlined phrase I'm looking for. Oh dear. I'm going to need to close that window after this. Uh, it's, it's actually quite cold in, uh, in Rome because it, it was more, a lot warmer, but it, it's now really cold again. Okay. Uh, small difference. I agree with you. S slightly plus less comparative. Good. In the 90s, uh, in the 1990s, grunge style was on trend. Well, it made a short comeback around 2015. This style was not quite as punk inspired as it was in the 90s. Small, yeah, I would say so. Good. Okay, women's hairstyles are nowhere near as large and complicated as the beehive of the of the fifties. let's have a look yeah it's a large it's a large uh, difference okay good I don't know why the sentences are disappearing and then appearing again anyway okay um, now I want you to this will make this the last thing okay um, back in my day compare the following with the current version using comparatives. Okay, so look at the pictures and think about what the modern equivalent is and um, try to see um, using the comparatives in the previous um, page. So um, not, as, not as bulky as, so what was it? not as uh, bulky as, for example, uh, 
more functional than just to give you some something to kind of base your answers off. So, um, what could you compare these objects in the slide to? Good, yeah, the photos now are far better than the old photos of the 80s, good, yeah. Also, you don't need to go like this, you don't need to like shake your photo in the air to get it to develop. You take a photo, the photos on the iPhone are really, really sharp, or if you buy like, oh, I don't know, Huawei or like one of the fancy uh smartphones some of the cameras are fantastic um the one i have isn't <laughs> it depends on how how good your cam your camera is how good your phone is but um i think some of the the cameras that you can get in phones are really really uh, really powerful they're actually some of them are actually almost as good as you know digital slr Uh, and a lot less bulky because that's the thing it's if you go on holiday I mean I love taking photos but if you have a big camera if you've got to carry that camera with you everywhere it's a nightmare plus you've got to consider that someone will think ah tourist you know I prefer to travel light nowadays Are, um, are smaller. The console for uh, the games consoles are smaller than the ones we had in the 70s. Um, I know what you were trying to do, you were almost there. So I would say the games consoles. Um, games consoles are uh, games consoles now are um, smaller than the ones we we had in the seventies. That's how I would put it. But you were almost there. Okay. Okay, um, I have another guess, I have another guess. One, one, more, one more example, one more comparative and then we'll call it there. It's a cassette. A cassette tape. Okay. 
Um, you can see cassette tapes are um, the quality. The quality from um, digital downloads is far greater. Yeah, exactly. Are not as functional as Spotify. Good, excellent. Well done. Well done. Perfect. As functional as Spotify. Good, excellent. Well done, Federico. I'm afraid we have run out of time, and I'll have to stop the the webinar there. But thank you very much for help, um, for your help, and um, I hope to see you in one of my webinars in future. Have a lovely evening. And um, I hope it's warmer where you are because I'm really cold. I've got a blanket over me. <laughs> um, okay, great. Bye-bye.